Okay, guys, what I'm here to talk about today is what happened in NBA free agency yesterday and the movement around the NBA. Now, now this series is going to be called NBA Offseason. I know I didn't do that on the series. But I'm going to try to do it this one. At least one today. It's been ending in Monday. And I'm out of time. I'll do it when I come back up here. But. What I want to talk about first is Roy Hibbert signing a match. Offer sheet with the Portland Trailblazers. The Portland Trailblazers are offering him four years and fifty-eight mil. Now, if he goes to the Blazers, I believe this duo will be just as good as Bynum and the Cole. The reason I say that is because, first of all, I think Roy Hibbert is going to stay healthy. While I have my doubts about Andrew Bynum. Okay, he paid. I'm going to go ahead for a game back here, but I over, over the last six years he makes a majority of the game, and I think he don't trust him to get healthy. The bad guy, he has to take injections to loosen his knee up. I'm iffy about that. Now, last year, he played 60 games. But, if you look at the year before that, I'm gonna give you three years before that. Okay. Oh five, he played only forty six games. Oh six or seven, he played a full season. Oh seven or eight, thirty five games. Oh eight or nine, fifteen games. Oh. Oh nine, oh ten, sixty. Oh ten, eleven, fifty four. So he missed quite a big chunk of games except for two years in the NBA, in the NBA out of his seven. I'm kind of iffy about that kill, Granny. He averaged 18.7 points and 11.8 rebounds last year. And, and gave five points to minutes per but I missed it. Meanwhile, if you look at Roy Hibbert, well, he hasn't been as productive. He has stayed on the court and helped his, his team. And I better have a player who can knock below or two knocking below and can stay on the court. Rather than a guy 
Gag in girl can now. Now, in a four year career, the least amount of games he had was this year. And that was because of a lockout short in season in 65 games. While he averaged 12.8 points, 8.8 rebounds. So he's too nice below, but to stay on the court. And to me, oh my God, it's better than Power the Hall, basically because the market is not afraid to bang in the low post while Power the Hall over the last two years has just basically become a facial appearance. This is clearly evident if you look at the points per game. 21.7 to 11, I mean 17.4, even though Powell had 2.4 more rebounds. So, I believe... Gay, the market and Roy Hibbert will be a better combo. Yes, basically because I think they can stay healthy more as Google than buying them in the store. Uh, I miss playing again. Now, To add to this piece, I heard that Portland is calling Atlanta about Joe Johnson and also Arden Nick. He would be a, a great fit in Portland, but not in Brooklyn. Let me explain why. Because in Portland, he would be a good option. He could get stand back at a good point line, which is what he's good at in two three. Occasionally drive to to the lane. And no judge he was I know I have Gil Wallace here. But he would still have to drive to the paint with possibly no big man. But I don't know if Brooklyn Payne is going to ask for a big pay game or not. Also important, the lanes are going to be it's all going to be wide open since the two big men are going to command the bull team as the win. In Brooklyn, it's going to be a guard game. And the perimeter slash lane is going to be a lockdown. So I think he'll be a better fit in important because that instead of military. Now, if I was, if I was military, I would call Danny Ferry about Guy Smith because he would provide some much Need a defense paint lockdown. But guys, hear me. Now, on to the last topic. Omir Ashikil 
potentially to the logic. I think this is a tremendous rehearsal board because they don't have another big man besides Joking or to the friend little post. And you may be saying to yourself, what about Ty Gibson? Well, I believe Ty Gibson is a small forward power forward. He's not that big of a guy, so they need only a heat to control the paint. To that guy on that paint, well, go King Noah is gone. I believe that is what it is essential for the Chicago Bulls to match that offer here. That's it for right now, guys.